Hello bandits. Today we're delving under the covers of darkness to tell you about the mythic puzzle adventure from Focus Home Interactive and Cyanide Studios, Call of Cthulhu. Call of Cthulhu is a title packed with story which remains pretty faithful to the Lovecraftian mythos. It contains everything fans of the lore or tabletop RPG will be expecting, from asylums to abandoned mansions and, of course, one tortured and imbalanced protagonist. As you move along, you'll have to look after your sanity as well as levelling up your skills in different areas which will then unlock more clues and more dialogue options as you get closer to the finale. For parents, there are a few things to watch out for. Violence is extreme in places and the subpar graphics don't do a lot to hide things when coated in blood and up close and personal with some pretty gruesome activity. As you might expect from all that, language is also another point which is pretty hefty in some places. For those not well versed in Lovecraftian history, mental health is another one which could be an issue. As many actions you can take along the way will alter your protagonist's mental state, bringing on hallucinations and a twisted sense of what is and isn't real. Fear is, as well, of course, another one to watch out for, as there are a number of jump scares through the title depending on the paths you take. And with that stacked up, we'll run it down for you here. Graphics 4. Definitely on the poor end of the scale, the visuals within Call of Cthulhu are decidedly last generation. While they don't ruin the title, they certainly do detract from immersion at times and could definitely have used more work. Story 10. As you would expect from a title with such well-woven lore, there's a great narrative woven through the gameplay which will change depending on the actions you take and the people you trust. Sound 9. The audio is mostly spot on, with a special note for some great voice acting. However, on occasion some of the background effects can become a little repetitive. Replayability 3. There are some bits to collect and paths not taken. However, with the title being a slow-paced narrative adventure, it would only be really enough to draw back the most avid of completionists. Satisfaction 7. The visuals certainly let Call of Cthulhu down, but they don't stop the overall enjoyment. Bolstered by a well-scripted story and some nice relaxed gameplay, though it has a few jump scares and a great sense of suspense during the infrequent stealth sections, it's not too scary for most, though it will of course give much more satisfaction to fans of Lovecraft. <laughs> That's all from us for now, but if you have any questions or insights, get them in the comments below. And for game reviews, flashbacks, RP and the latest news, don't forget to subscribe here and at the links on screen to stay up to date with just about everything.